Hello everybody, welcome to part 8 <laughs> of Gundam Rango vs Zaft. Yeah, I think it's been a little bit since I decided to do this, so <laughs> I don't remember which part I am in. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is um, a very important mission, I like to say. Because depending on how you finish this mission I want to say the outcome or which side you're gonna be with gonna change so if you decided to kill all your enemies which is those mobile suit that look like the strike Gundam itself excuse me that looks like the strike Gundam itself you will join Orb side. Now, if you decided to leave them and let the timer ran out, you will join the Earth Federation side. So it's, it's up to you. For this play, <laughs> excuse me. For this playthrough, for this part anyway. Excuse me. I will be going with Orb because that's what the anime is about. You're gonna be with Orb. Spoiler alert! So yeah, that is a nation of orb. By the way, it's pretty. It is just a tiny bit of Thai islands. But anyway, guys, um, for this mission, I decided to speed it up because to me, I feel like it doesn't add much to the storyline. Um, I wanna say that. Currently, Orb is being invaded by the Earth forces, and they introduce us to the three brand new um, antagonists mobile suits. That's what I like to say, and they are the Raider Gundam, Raider, and then what's the other one? <laughs> I have to uh, try to remember. I know one is a Raider Gundam, which is the one that can transform into an aircraft. I can't remember the other one for some stupid reason. I, I, I remember it like just a few minutes ago and now I can't remember. <laughs> my memory, my fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy memory is terrible. <laughs> but um, anyway guys, we are also introduced to three new side characters and they are the pilot of orbs orb i mean yeah <laughs> but anyway for this mission i i think i also speed up this one also because once again it doesn't add anything to the story all you're really doing is just pretty much shoot down all the enemies and wait for the time to run out and as you can see at the beginning, it is 180 seconds and <laughs> there's no reason for you to watch me shooting down freaking airplanes for 3 minutes or shooting down mobile suits. So I just speed this up and save yourself a, a bunch of time because, well, once again, this is just another field of mission anyway. So yeah, uh, Orb is being invaded by the Earth forces. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the two new main mobile suit ah uh, good lord I think one I'm pretty sure one is a Raider Gundam and the other one is something <laughs> I, I, I just can't remember right now for some dumb reason let me see the other one is uh, good lord that gummit brain. Remember already. <laughs> anyway, in the next part, no, not in the next part. In the next few minutes, the real battle is gonna begin. Because I'm not gonna speed them up. They're pretty important to the storyline, I think. So yeah. So let's see which I'm gonna be taking on the next mission with. Okay. This is a Zap mobile suit, by the way. And that's the Archangel once again. 
And once again, in order to put a shoe up, what you really have to do is press the down and up button. That's about it. <laughs> and the other guy got killed by a stray shot, which is a really good thing, I think. But um, yeah. Anyway, um, for this mobile suit, uh, still the same. See the same button layout, still the same attack. Press. That's a Raider Gundam. Um, still the same attack. You press the triangle button to attack it with a melee and the square button to shoot a beam and that's about it folks and if you press the R1 it will throw now a s paralyzed chains that's what I like to call I'm not sure if I'm gonna show it off later but what happened when you press R1 is that you gonna see that's the thing I'm talking about. I don't know what I should call it to be honest. <laughs> but if it hits an enemy, it will paralyze them for a brief period of time. Of time. Let's see I can read the name of that. See, it's paralyzed that thing and then make it fall out. That's about it. It doesn't do much damage anyway. That's the Buster Gundam. Um in case you're interested, a few parts ago we shot down the Buster Gundam and the Archa himself were taken prisoner. But now that we're in orb, uh, the Archangel decided to let the Archa go. But instead of leaving, he decided to stay back with them and help defending orb. Which is a really, really good thing. And that freaking laser. <laughs> That's a charge shot that killed me in one single hit a few parts. Ago, which is infuriating. Oh shoot! I think I'm gonna die for this mission. Good lord, this is gonna be embarrassing. <laughs> but um, I don't think I'll be engaging in any kind of close-range combat for now. So yeah, maybe this is a time when I'm really terrible at the game itself. So yeah, the Buster Gundam is now our allies instead of enemies, which is much appreciated because he kicked my butt for the first few uh, part of the game. Well, not kicking my butt, it's just it's his damage. If any of these main mobile suits your enemies, they will hurt you for mega damage no matter what. So keep a lookout for them, otherwise you will die. All the guns, no, no, not all of the, um, all of these. I can't remember what these freaking thing. Zin, I think. No, not a Zin. That's that's freaking Zap forces. Oh my god, my memory is terrible right now. <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, this mission is pretty uh, easy, even though I was about to get my my ass handed to me. But anyway, guys, I think I'm gonna be picking the Strike Gundam armed with the uh, underwater missiles so yeah I think I'm gonna be using him or some other mobiles I can't remember which okay I'll use a cube then so for this mission if the timer is red that's me excuse me if the timer is red that's pretty much mean if you ran out of time you lose the mission automatically no question asked so, try your best to finish the mission before the timer ran out. And from the look of it, I think for this mission, you will have to uh, freaking okay. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some random uh, main mobile suit coming in, and you have to fight them. And after you fight him for a little bit. He will run away, and that is how you win the battle, I think. But anyway, folks, this is the first instance where Mula Flaga is not using a Sky Grasper, but instead using the Strike Gundam. And spoiler, in the anime remastered version, he actually used the perfect Strike Gundam, 
and the perfect strike is not in this game at all which is kind of suck but um, that's pretty much understandable this game is pretty old and the remaster of the Gundam Seed anime is not until like 2013 or 15 or something no not 15 I'm pretty sure it's 13 14 or something like that so the perfect strike Gundam was not shown until then I think this game was made in 2000 that's why the perfect strike is not here but yeah you will have to fight the I think this is the Oblivion Gundam I think Opluka that's what I'm trying to do Oh no no Anyway um, The one that I just read is the name of the pilot not the name of the mobile suit itself His name is Olga by the way Oluga <laughs> But um, I think we're gonna have one this mission see Pretty uh, easy Unless you get your butt handed to you <laughs> So yeah I think it's gonna be the same thing for the next mission as well. But I think that's that one, the green one, is the Oblivion Gundam. And I might be wrong though. Let me see. That gummit brain trying to remember already. Let's see, let's see. That's some pretty nice music in the background right now. So right now, Kira Yamato is being attacked by... Excuse me. Kira Yamato is being attacked by three mobile suits. The Raider Gundam and the other two Gundam that I can't remember the name right now. For some really stupid reason. Ooh, the Justice Gundam, folks. So yeah. This mission is pretty much about... The three new Gundam fighting the Freedom and the Justice Gundam. And they are defending Orb together. And freaking Kira Yamato! <laughs> so, that one is running away. Which is good. Now I only have two mobile suits I have to deal with. But I think this is gonna be a short mission. So that's the last one that you have to fight, but right now it's, uh, I was about to say it's going to be 3 against 1, but that's not the case anymore. <laughs> but let's take this one on, make him run away from the battlefield like a coward, so we can win this freaking battle. <laughs> so yeah. But that's about it. Um, the missiles. One great thing about it uh, is that if you if the enemy get hit with it, he will fall down right instantly. Unlike the beam, with the beam you have to shoot them like three times before they will fly, before they will uh, lie on the ground or fall on the ground. But for the missile itself, one shot is all that it needs to put them down on the ground, which is really good. See, he ran away. <laughs> Cowards. You know, it's bugging me that I cannot remember the name of those three mobile suits right now. Dammit. So, because this is. a um. I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> anyway, guys, see you in the next part.